This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to look at metallic bonding. Let's start by looking at the structure of a metal. The structure of a metal is composed of positive metal ions surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons. Delocalized electrons are electrons that are not associated with any one atom, therefore they are free to move around the metallic structure. The metallic bond can be defined as the electrostatic attraction between positively charged metal ions and delocalized electrons. Next we look at how the structure of a metal accounts for its properties. So the properties of metals are, they are shiny, they are ductile, they can be made into wires and they are also good conductors of electricity. They have high melting points, they are good conductors of heat and they are malleable, that means they can be bent into shape. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity because of the presence of delocalized electrons. Metals are malleable, they can be bent into shape and they're ductile, they can be drawn into wires and that's because the metallic bond remains intact even if the structure is distorted. And metals are shiny, the delocalized electrons in the metallic structure reflect light. Metals are malleable and ductile. The layers can slide over each other when metals are bent, hammered or stretched without breaking the metallic bond. And in this diagram you can see the layers sliding over each other but the metallic bond remains intact. Next we look at the strength of the metallic bond. The strength of the metallic bond is determined by the charge on the metal ion and the ionic radius of the metal ion. Let's compare the melting point of sodium and magnesium. The melting point of sodium is around 98 degrees C. The melting point of magnesium is 650 degrees C. If we compare the ionic radius, magnesium has a smaller ionic radius than sodium. If we look at the charge on the ion, Here's the electronic configuration of the sodium atom. It can lose this 3s electron to form a 1 plus ion. Here's the electronic configuration of magnesium. It can lose these two 3s electrons to form a 2 plus ion. So magnesium has a higher melting point than sodium due to its higher ionic charge and smaller ionic radius. The higher the charge on the ion, the more delocalized electrons exist in the metallic structure. This results in a stronger electrostatic attraction between the metal ions and the delocalized electrons, therefore a stronger metallic bond. The metallic bond weakens down a group as the size of the metal cation increases. Next we look at alloys. Alloys are materials made up of two or more metals or a metal and a non-metal. Alloys have different properties to the metals that they are made from. They are often stronger and more resistant to corrosion than their component metals. So next we'll have a look at some examples of alloys. So the first one is steel and the component metals are iron and carbon and it's used in construction. The next one is stainless steel which is composed of iron, nickel and chromium and it's resistant to corrosion, therefore it's used in cooking implements such as saucepans. Brass is composed of copper and zinc and it's used in pipes. Bronze, copper and tin and it's used in coins, medals and tools. Pewter is made of tin, copper and antimony and it's used for decorative ornaments. Solder is made of lead and tin. Because of its low melting point, it's used to join metals in electrical circuits. And finally nichrome, it's composed of nickel and copper and it's used in heating elements. So that's all from this video, don't forget if you look in the video description you'll find the link to a practice worksheet.